interviews with business owners and veteran executives who share their wisdom and expertise to help you de-stress, free up time, and make more money. Profits of IT. Welcome back to the Profits of IT. I am Jim Punzenberger, your host and the creator of the Managed Prospecting System, looking to generate new clients or partners. Be sure to check out managedprospectingsystem.com. My prophet today is Eric Pinto. Eric is the uh, is the 2023 channel chief, uh, made the CRN list this year. I just saw that. Congratulations, Eric. He Thank you. Is, that just came uh, out. The channel chief at uh, Sox Soder. And uh, he's also a battery enthusiast that uh, has been building his own uh what is it uh go-karts or uh golf carts and many other things and not to mention that he's also a dallas cowboys fan living in dallas and uh i won't um i'll, I'll let that go seeing that i'm a cheesehead <laughs> well eric uh glad to have you here uh please uh tell us a quick bit about sock soda yeah, well, Sox Solder, is, uh, we're a security uh, security operation uh, center, uh, so Sock, and then Solder being a protector, protector, so protector of networks. Uh, sort of a quirky name, but uh, uh, the meat and potatoes of what we do is provide security services for uh, for small business, and we only work through the MSP channel. So, uh, really working to align ourselves with the needs of not only the small businesses themselves, but the service providers that. That, that, that serve them cool so uh is there anything else interesting about yourself outside of work that would be I mean, uh, mentionable uh, notable besides work and work and batteries uh yeah uh, no no golf cart yet though that, that that's a that's a future item i do i do dabble in, in in batteries but that's that's more of just a nerd thing on, on the weekends uh building power stations and stuff like that um also heavily, heavily involved in scouts uh with my with my son so uh, go do a lot of camping, hiking, those sorts of things. And, um, I don't know, uh, sports all, all typically all kid related. I mean, this is dad world, right? So yeah. uh, all, all kid related activity. I have one son, so it's chasing him all around, all around town and well, he's way cooler how, than I am. How, so he gets invi- invited. How to old us. is he? He's 12. Well, so that's a really active age, isn't it? Yeah, active. yeah, and wake and like I said, cooler than I am. So he's, he's his schedule is full. So my schedule is really dictated my my non work schedule is really dictated by uh by by what he's got to do. That makes a lot of sense. So um, I guess the qu- main question here is, uh, what do you contribute your success to? You know, obviously you've had being on the uh, channel. Chiefs list this year must mean there's been a lot of success uh, behind that. Uh, So what would you contribute your success to or what might you say is your superpower when it comes to business and how can others learn from that to be more successful themselves? I know that's a a big question. It is a big Um, question. It's also kind of a tongue twister. It it uh, is. uh, You got it out though. You got it out. I'm curious to hear your answer or answers. So. Yeah, I think it's really just a, an ability to 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 listen and 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 relate to the party on the other side of the table, right? So, uh, whether that be an end customer, uh, you know, that's trying to just understand and and, and untangle uh, all the security and compliance requirements that are out there today, or or helping a a managed service provider uh, relay that same information to their customer, um, really just understanding, you know, sort of all sides of, of the equation, right? So, uh, you know, obviously, uh, you know, being in sales, our focus is obviously to to sell product and, and, uh, and uh, but a part of that has to be education, right? So we spend a lot of time, um, you know, sitting down, educating our partners, educating our end customers, helping them understand what the, what the challenges are so that we can solve them together. Cool, so what else uh, has contributed to your success? Uh, a lot of time, right? I mean, I've, I've been in this, in the channel space, uh, for, I don't know, too many years now, <laughs> 12 or so, uh, in the MSP channel before that I, I ran a, uh, uh, with a partner of mine, ran a, uh, a small service provider here in Dallas, 
Um, you know, but I think that time on, like I said, that time on that side of the table helped me understand, you know, really all sides of the equation. So, um, you know, when I, when I look at business today, I really just sort of think back to 12, 15 years ago and what we were doing and the challenges that we had and, and, and how we were overcoming them. And then, uh, and now try to bring that to the table as I'm talking to, uh, to, to small business owners. Yeah. So is there any challenges that were that are top of mind that you had when you were an MSP and uh, how did you <laughs> overcome them? A, a lot, right? I mean, it mostly, mostly just trying to, you know, navigate personalities, you know, you know, certainly as you're dealing with your, your business owner customers, right. Navigate those personalities. And, um, you know, even then we were, we were relaying technology set that weren't, necessarily you know top of mind for them right so we were talking about email security and you know a lot some of the same things that were ch that we're challenged with today but you know relaying that message to someone that that just think just just wants their email to work right, right. uh was, was was quite difficult um you know and, and and i think that those those are the same challenges that persist today but but it's even more complicated right because now you're talking to someone and you're saying not only do you have to do, continue doing all the things that you were doing before your firewall your antivirus all those things but now there's a whole new roster of services that um that are required based on compliance if you're in an, if you're in an industry that's managing or maintaining sensitive data mm -hmm. so any tips on communicating that like, uh, so, you know, I'm an MSP and I need to communicate this to my clients and uh, help them understand any tips on that. Yeah. I mean, you have to, like everything else, you have to make it relatable, right? So, you know, instead of getting, getting into the weeds and the bits and bytes of how your technology works, you know, really start to address, uh, the problems for the problem or the challenge from their perspective. So, you know, if they're a, I'll use an example of like a, a law firm, right? If they're a law firm, they've they've got tons of information that they've amassed about their the cases that they're that they have and the clients that they're serving and you know the business relationships that they have and you know what would be the impact to them if that information A were to get exposed and B uh, if if that exposure led to you know someone you know then falling victim to to cybercrime down the road you know what what would their responsibility be in all of that right? Um, you know, so sharing that with them and, you know, in the, in the law firm, it's, it's sort of easy, right? Cause they understand, you know, deniability and, and being in a strong defensible position and, and things like that. But, you know, when you talk to a mortgage broker, when you talk to a CPA, you know, they're more concerned about, you know, doing the business that that's at hand for them. Right. You know, which is, right. you know, creating, a, creating or fulfilling mortgages or, you know, doing taxes. Right. So they don't, they're not necessarily worried then about, you know, where that data is stored mm -hmm. when they're not accessing it or who's accessing it, you know, but, when they're not. Right. Yeah. But they have all the, like, I guess they have uh, loads of, of, uh, of, of information that uh, could That's be right. used, uh, to in ways that would be, could be damaging to their clients or their their i guess uh their cpa firm their firm or if you're a mortgage company no that, that's exactly right that's exactly right i mean go buy a house right what what information do you need to relate to your mortgage lender to 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 get a house loan right i mean it's everything it's everything about you your spouse your family your you know all, all types of that information and you know i i remember you know 12 years ago i bought i bought my house they were, you know, they, they asked, they asked me, I think they said, well, could you fax it? Then I said, well, I, don't, I, don't, I can do it. Well, just send it to my email. And it was like a Gmail. And I was like, wait, so I'm just going to send all of my information, everything that defines me in the, in the global space. I'm just going to send it to your Yahoo account. Well, well, this is crazy. Like, right. you know, and, it, it, and this was, this was 12 years ago. I don't, I would hope that those practices have, have advanced, but I've talked to enough businesses to know that it really hasn't. Yes. And uh, any more tips on, you know, I guess, uh, communicating this with uh, maybe they're maybe or maybe they're not prospects or, or maybe they're not a client right now, but maybe they're a prospect and they don't understand this. Any tips on communicate how to communicate with a prospect? Yeah, I mean, the root of what of what I, I typically, you know, challenge 
business owners to do is just take a, a strong look at themselves, right? If they're, you know, the barometer that I always use is, you know, does your business manager maintain, manage, maintain, or transact uh, what would be determined as sensitive information? So that could be, you know, me medical information, PHI, could be PII, personal identifiable information. It could be, you know, the secret recipe, you know, for Heinz ketchup. I don't know what it is, but if it's sensitive material or sensitive to you, then there's a responsibility for you as a business owner then to secure it, full stop, right? So how you get there and the bits and bytes of the solutions that you need to use, we can talk about it, but let's agree that, there, that there's a challenge, right? And agree that that challenge has to be met somehow. Got it. Any other thoughts uh, on this? Or related I'll tap to this? out, Jim. You've asked, you've asked me everything you could ask me, buddy. Okay, then. So I guess I got one more question for you. Uh, is there a networking moment or uh, elevator pitch time? What? Uh, who should be reaching out to you and why should they be reaching out to you? Is there like a, a specific type of NSP that should be uh, contacting you or uh... well yeah we're we're really here to help so we work with business groups and I'll first talk about who the end client typically is right so we work with in client groups that are um, uh, you know five to 500 employees at a single location right so we really work up and down the scale so they're you know the idea of well the end client my end client says they're too small it's sort of irrelevant now right i mean the you know the the bad actors don't care if there's a five person organization or 500 person organization the bad actor doesn't care they're just going to send out you know tons of attempts to try to get data and whether they get five records or 500 records so it's a numbers game they'll just get it at the next place right um you know so when we're talking to business groups again that litmus test of you know are you managing or maintaining sensitive material that's that's the first question if, if we can agree that you are then, then, then again, we can work together to figure out a solution. And then as far as the managed service providers that we work with, um, again, groups small and large. Uh, typically, we're working with groups that don't have an internal security operations team, right? So they don't have an internal security operations center, although some that we do have that in place. Most, most will have some level of a knock, right? So some level of network operations, and, and that's been their focus. And then we come in as their security partner. Um, it doesn't mean that that we're pushing them out of the way or displacing them, but but it means we a true partnership. We're working together um, to again identify the challenges at the customer level and then input the the appropriate tools. Got it. Uh, and uh, I guess if I, I guess if I'll continue the 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 elevator pitch, those tools would be <laughs> uh, <laughs> network monitoring, uh, network monitoring and asset management. Mm -hmm on the network side, uh, at cloud monitoring, and we cover everything from uh, 365, Azure, uh, the entire Microsoft stack, the entire Google stack, AWS, Cisco, and then a ton of endpoint products from Sentinel-1 to Sophos to CrowdStrike to Carbon Black and more. So um, we're tied into a, a ton of the solutions that they're likely already running. And again, our, our purpose isn't to come in and just you know be a bull in the china shop and displace but to embrace the, the tools that they have today and and help them to uh, properly monitor them. Got it. And uh, if somebody would want to reach out to you, what would be a good way of getting in contact with you? Yeah, E. Pinto. Uh, uh, first name's Eric, last name Pinto. So E. Pinto at Soxotter, uh, S-O-C-S-O-T-E-R.com. I'm sure that'll be in the description or whatever. <laughs> but um, that's, that's the best way. Or LinkedIn. I'm Eric Pinto on LinkedIn. Um, easy ways to get a hold of me. Certainly can reach out to anyone on my team and uh, we're here to help. Great. Well, thank you for your time here today. It's been fun uh, chatting with you. All right. Well, good deal, man. Thanks for talking to me. Until next time on the Profits of IT, I am Jim Punzenberger, your host and the creator of the Managed Prospecting System. that can generate new clients or partners without ad spend, spamming, or cold calling. Be sure to check out managedprospectingsystem.com. Thank you for tuning in to the Profits of IT. Please smash that like button, subscribe, and share.